Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Today, I want to talk about the new One UI 6.1.1 firmware update that Samsung has launched with the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 smartphones. With this new firmware update, the company has also updated its auto blocker security service. This was initially launched back with One UI 6, but its features were much more limited back then. With the new firmware update, you'll notice that you can no longer sideload APK files like you normally could. Even if you manually allow an application to install Android apps from outside of the Google Play Store, with this new version of AutoBlocker, it's going to prevent that from happening. Thankfully, we can disable auto blocker when setting up the phone, and we can turn it off within the settings application. But both of these have to be done manually, and allowing APK sideloading requires you to disable auto blocker entirely. So you're also going to miss out on the other features that are included which is a shame since I really appreciate the blocking of malware within images of their messaging apps. Thankfully, I suspect that we can temporarily disable auto blocker so that we can then sideload an APK that we want to install and then go back and re-enable the auto blocker feature. But I have yet to be able to test this since Samsung has not rolled out the One UI 6.1.1 firmware update to any of their other devices yet. And for those who are curious, thankfully we can disable the auto blocker feature by first opening up the settings application, finding the security and privacy menu like you see here, and then turning off the auto blocker feature by tapping on that toggle down at the bottom. So while I'm not a fan of APK sideloading being blocked on One UI 6.1.1, I assume this will be incredibly helpful for those casual users of Samsung Galaxy devices, while also giving the tech savvy people an option to turn it off when we see fit. But it's still strange as there is already a layer of protection built into the Android operating system that stops APK files from being installed through unauthorized sources. So it just seems like another case of Samsung duplicating features that Google has already implemented. But let me know your thoughts about this feature down in the comment section below. And please, don't forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android news content.